All right, and this is coming from eyes that just look up in the sky. This notion that there is a planet just like ours, just bigger, older, and about 1,400 light years away. So uh, I already told you that this is the opposite planet where, you know, just, for example, like everything is upside down. Uh, I know, seriously, I don't know that because when I mentioned that, we actually had viewers said, Neo, everything's not upside down. So you know what I decided to do? Actually to talk to someone who knows what she is talking about. I'm talking about space expert uh, Kyle Cofield on this newly discovered planet. She's with space.com. All right. How real is this and how did it get the attention it did? Like it seemed like we've been looking at the sky all the time. How do we discover this? Well, now we know about a thousand exoplanets. I mean, this is actually, this year is the 20th anniversary of finding the first one. So 20 years ago, we didn't know for sure what that there were planets. Sorry, a planet around another star. Gotcha. We didn't know if the planets in our solar system were the only ones out there. Now we know of over a thousand. So actually, so this, you know, this could has be been just going one on of for a bunch. A while. It is one of a bunch. In fact, in the well, what got the attention for this one? Because it's a lot like Earth, and really? and of course, the big question is: Is there life on these planets? So. We only know about life on Earth, so we're looking for planets that look like Earth because we think there's a good chance other life might but be But how there. did we stumble upon, I don't mean stumble, but how did we just accidentally fall upon this one? I mean, it, if it's been up there all this time, did we just sort of catch it and just say, hey, this is odd, we see it among these thousand or so exoplanets. This one stands out because. Well, I mean, I think your question is how did we find one that was yeah, so much so, yeah, like that's Earth. That's exactly my question. This yes. is actually an indicator that there are a lot of planets out there like Earth, that it's not actually that strange that we stumbled upon one. Or there are there are a lot, so let's say there are other you know, sure. planets that go around stars and all that. This catches our attention. There might be others, like you say. But I understand it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger than Earth, mm -hmm. right? 60% bigger? Yeah. All right. So it would have a bigger, a stronger gravitational It would be about mass, right? twice the gravity. So you could survive that. You know, we could send people to explore it and it would be a workout. But, but how do we know, okay. looking through a telescope, the conditions that it has? Isn't it amazing what they can do with well, this tiny amount of light? Because I think you guys just made that up. How did you know? 1,400 <laughs> well, light years I'm away. Not. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, it's amazing what these scientists can do with this little bit of light. I mean, just to first identify the planet just based on it going around its host star and dimming that light a little bit and then you have a bunch of other telescopes that get together and look at it as well it's incredible what they can figure out. And these are telescopes out. in space, right? So they're On getting the ground a bunch of as well. Okay. They all join together and they all, and they all look at this. it. And what they can figure out is incredible. They figured out it's it's been around for six billion years. So, so a that's a older good than amount of time for life to form. They figure out how far it is from its parent star. It's at a distance where you could have liquid water. And they are working on. They they think there's a very good chance that you know it's a rocky planet, has a solid surface. They're working on that. Do you think? <laughs> But everything is all done again, and everything, all bets are off if we get confirmation of life other than on our planet. I, it's incredible to think about that, and what's so incredible is that this is within reach. This is absolutely within 1400 reach. 1,400 light years away. Well, finding life on another planet, that is within reach. Again, it's incredible what scientists can do with light. You know, just the tiny amount of light that they're getting from these places. It's, it's mind-boggling, but they do it. And, and we know these things. And, and you were saying, now you're a lot younger than I am, but you, you think that in our lifetime, maybe in your lifetime, we will get that confirmation. A lot of very smart people. I think if, if we stay on track with the plan that the astronomy community has for building more instruments, for finding out more information about these planets, we stay on track for that. You know, uh, positive estimates are saying 20 to 30 years. I think definitely uh, less than half a century. So, yeah, it's really Holy possible cow. that a lot of people alive today are going to be around to see this. All right, Kyle, thank you very, very much. Thank I mean, that's a great marketing me. opportunity to think about it for Fox Business. <laughs>